But several other issues are pressuring the president. KTLA 5's John Finolio is here with the rundown. John. Well, Sheriff, President Trump's controversial travel ban is shaping up to be a constitutional showdown, one that could be decided tomorrow by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco. Depending on how things shake out, it could go all the way to the Supreme Court. <laughs> Joyful reunions during a brief window of time as people from seven Muslim majority nations rush to return to the U.S. My family is here with us safe. We are so excited. A federal district judge in Seattle temporarily stopped President Trump's executive order on immigration Friday. A U.S. appeals court upheld that ruling Sunday. The president making his case today, citing terrorism while addressing troops at U.S. Central Command in Tampa. Radical Islamic terrorists are determined to strike our homeland as they did on 9-11 while insisting that journalists are deliberately refusing to report on terrorist attacks. The very, very dishonest press doesn't want to report it. And lashing out at recent polls that reveal most Americans are uneasy with his travel ban, tweeting, Any negative polls are fake news, just like the CNN, ABC, NBC polls in the election. Sorry, people want border security and extreme vetting. Mr. Trump also raising eyebrows in an interview with Bill O'Reilly after appearing to defend Vladimir Putin. Putin's a killer. A lot of killers. We got a lot of killers. Why well, you think our country's so innocent? I don't know of any government leaders that are killers in the well, America. Well, take a look at what we've done too. We made a lot of mistakes. I've been against the war in Iraq from the beginning. Yeah, mistakes are different then. A lot of mistakes, okay, but a lot of people were killed. So a lot All of right. killers around, believe me. But in a 2002 interview with Howard Stern, Mr. Trump said he was in favor of invading Iraq. The president also walking back promises to swiftly repeal Obamacare. Maybe it'll take till sometime into next year, but we are certainly going to be in the process. Very complicated. Now, in that same O'Reilly interview, President Trump also warned that California could lose federal funds by becoming a so-called sanctuary state. But there are rules against a president doing anything punitive. And, of course, Congress controls most spending decisions. I'll send it back to you. Okay, John, thank you. Now to the Senate standoff in Washington, D.C. Democrats are standing for 24 hours to stop the confirmation of education nominee Betsy DeVos. These are live pictures from D.C. Two Senate Republicans already say that they won't support her, so tomorrow's confirmation vote could actually end in a 50-50 tie, and that means Vice President Mike Pence could cast the deciding vote. Democrats are trying to stir up public sentiment and pressure another Republican to join them in blocking her confirmation. Democrats have been critical of DeVos over her lack of education experience and her support of charter schools. Again, the vote is set for tomorrow.